Hey everyone, today I'm going to show you how to install Lazarus IDE. In my last tutorial series, we were using Code Typhon, which is a fork of Lazarus. And the main difference is Code Typhon is a kind of a done for you setup where with Lazarus you would kind of pretty much take on the task of installing the different components and other things separately, which if you want something more tailored to your own experience, uh, Lazarus is really a great way to go and a lot of people would prefer to do it that way and normally we would download it here at the Lazarus website but actually there's another way that I prefer installing it and that's using a script called FPC Up Deluxe and with FPC Up Deluxe we can tailor our install to have our own modules and for cross compiling and so forth and it makes it really easy and so I'm at the FPC Up Deluxe website right now. And the link to this website, of course, I have down below in our description. And so these are all the different versions for the different platforms that would pertain to you. For example, I'm a Linux user, so I would download the Linux version. If you were a Mac user, you would use this, which would be the Darwin spin of FPC Up Deluxe. Darwin because it's based on uh, Mac is based on Darwin Unix and so that's why it's called Darwin. And then of course if you're a Windows user you would just select this guy right here or Win64. But since I'm a Linux user I'm gonna go ahead and select this option here. So I'm gonna go ahead and download this. and let's just jump over to our folder here's our download folder looks like i have an older copy in my folder because it's got a little two in there that's all right i must have a couple copies i'm going to go ahead and press f10 or i mean uh control t to open another tab in my file explorer here and i'm going to go and navigate oh here it is i'm already in my downloads folder but I'm going to navigate over to home and go into my apps folder. And this is where I want to put my FPC up deluxe. So I'm going to go ahead and call this folder FPC up deluxe. And I want to have this installer in a separate folder here because it's going to have an any file and so forth that it generates when I do the install that carries information like our default install folder and so forth. So it's really kind of best to have this in a separate folder. And there we go. And I'm going to go ahead and double click on it and run it and just hit continue. Okay. Now this is like a first time splash screen that you get. And it's just letting you know that it's, uh, can check out, uh, for logging info. And so I, I'm good with that. Okay, now what I want to do is I want to install the trunk version. That's always my preferred install type. That's another reason I'm using FPC Up Deluxe because I get the trunk version uh, instead of the latest stable version, which is, you know, not quite as cutting edge. I'm going to go ahead and hit Lazarus. And the trunk version, by the way, is very stable and has a lot of new features available that you wouldn't find uh, in the regular version. So I'm going to go ahead and first of all you can see that I had set my install path and I did that I know I was talking there but I set that install path because I want it to be installed into a Lazarus folder in my apps directory. So now after selecting I'm going to go up here and select trunk for both the free Pascal version and the Lazarus version. And then I'm going to select this one, which will install and update FPC and Lazarus. And now it's going to go ahead and start installing and this will take a while. So I think I'll just pause the video and come back when it's done. Oh, we're done.
done. Well, hello there. I didn't notice you there. Okay, well, that wasn't too long of a wait. Only took about five or six minutes. And as you can see here, FPC Up Deluxe is done. So that's what you'll get after it's done installing. And it's actually building it from source. So that's why it takes a little bit for it to complete. So now it automatically generated an icon here on my desktop. I'm gonna go ahead and double click that. And we should just kind of get our default look here. And we did. Our default look is kind of a broken up type style where you have all these separate windows. And it's not something I really like. I, I prefer one integrated environment. And you can fix that by going right in here and selecting anchor docking. And this was under tools and options. And also uh, selecting the Sparta option here, Sparta Dock Form Editor. And those two options you could move over to the other window. However, instead of doing that, I'm gonna do it from FPC Up Deluxe. From in here, I can install the modules right through here. And I selected Anchor Docking. And I don't believe you have to select Sparta because I think it'll choose that automatically, but let me just look anyway real quick. And you're right, it's not there in the list. It'll, uh, it'll pull it automatically, uh, Sparta, almost as if like a dependency. <laughs> so I'm gonna go ahead and install that Anchor Docking by clicking Install Module. And this will just take a minute to install. And that'll take care of our broken up look. Okay, so it's gone ahead and installed that and it actually rebuilt. So that'll already be in place. Now I'm gonna click cross here because I wanna be able to cross compile too. And this makes cross compiling a breeze. So I'm gonna select x84 and Windows because I'm running Linux. So I wanna have the ability to create a Windows executable as well. So all I have to do is hit install compiler. Now if I had to do this manually um, in Lazarus, it would be a lot more complicated. It'd be kind of a, kind of a pain in the butt to get working. But with FPC up to locks, it's a breeze. It does everything for you. So can't get any better than that. And again, just like installing the modules, this will only take a minute to build. And it also rebuilds the IDE real quick as well. So it's ready to go the next time we launch it. So when this is done, I'll go ahead and launch Lazarus and you'll see that those features are already intact. And we're almost there. Okay, very good. So we got through that. Easy peasy. So now if we go back to our desktop and I launch Lazarus, we should have one solid integrated de development environment, which we do. So there we go. So our anchor docking is now installed and implemented. Oh, that's very cool. Excellent. So now let's go to back to tools. Now first, let me go into projects here. Just kind of want to show you something with the cross compiler. So if we go here in project options, and if I scroll down to, here's where you would set your project settings, your initial ones like your icon and so forth. But let's scroll down here to config and target. And as you can see here, it shows your target OS's and what widget set you'd like to use. And by default, it's GTKT2 for Linux. And I'm running KDE, so KDE is really a Qt, Qt based OS. And so I'm gonna change my target to Qt 5. Now, if you're not running Linux, 
uh, or a cute cute based like um, you know LX cute or KDE then you don't really have to do that but you can but I just like to do that given the OS I'm on now under config and target our target OS by default is going to be the OS that we're on which in my case would be Linux however I could set it to any one of these but you got to have it set for cross-compiling right now I have Win64 set for cross-compiling but I wouldn't want to have it by default but what I could do is create another build mode so for example I could go up here and hit this plus button and then name it something like Win64 that way I can choose which mode I wanted to compile a Linux or a Windows app make it easy peasy and then once I got my Win64 I would just go down this list here and choose the Win64 compiler that we had just installed so that way we would be covered for our Windows build nice I'm gonna go back to default because that's where I wanted the default but now I have my Windows 64 option so I can anytime I want compile my app into a Windows app as well and I don't even have to be on a Windows machine or in a virtual environment so that's double cool just want to jump back in here real quick uh, I'm back under tools and options and under IDE options I'm going to make some changes here compiling compile completion and hints and mouse I'm going to bring that all the way down to 10 for our de delay that makes it more responsive and here's where we can change our colors and our background for our editor so it's got all these different choices here and twilight is kind of like the dark theme here which is okay it's actually pretty nice I have my own theme though and I'll put it in the link below in the description but I'm going to just choose my theme because I kind of like it it was kind of inspired by Visual Studio Code I kind of followed the uh, roughly the same color scheme uh, a little bit different but it was my inspiration so let me jump over to my downloads folder here and it would be right here that's my Lazarus version so I'm going to copy this guy and then I'm going to navigate over to my Lazarus folder and if you go here to config Lazarus we're going to create a folder in here so let me just open this and we're going to inside our config Lazarus folder we're going to create a new folder I'm going to hit F10 and call it user schemes this is the folder it'll look for for any custom schemes and that didn't go in my config so let me move that user schemes needs to be inside your config underscore Lazarus folder okay so let's go inside the user schemes here and we're gonna paste in our XML file my custom one for that custom look and now I'm gonna relaunch Lazarus and it should see my custom XML file now I'm gonna go up here to tools options back to edit tab or editor and then display and colors and there it is I'm gonna go ahead and click that and there we go that's my look that I'm comfortable with so that's cool then I'm just gonna beef this size up just a tad for the sake of this video so it shows up better nice okay I like it so here's the designer in Lazarus it's uh, really pretty much the same as code typing except Lazarus you're gonna have your your standard uh, your control set here I think there's nine tabs up there and that's what you would normally get in a normal install so I'm just putting in here an edit text field and a button 
and we'll just mess with something here real quick. Uh, we'll just say press me for the caption. <laughs> okay, and then in the edit field, we'll go ahead and just take that out of there so it's blank. And then we'll click on this button and we'll add a click event to it. So we can go in here to our events tab and double click on the on click or just double click on the button itself and it'll do the same thing. It'll take us into our code editor and then we have, uh, we're inside our button click event which was automatically generated by the IDE. So let me just put something in here. We'll say edit1.text will be assigned to this string. Hi there. And then an explanation point. <laughs> End quote. All right. And I just hit save. So I'll go ahead and it generated a projects folder by default when we installed Lazarus. So I'm going to create a project folder for this project. Just call it test project. Okay, and then hit save again. And for some reason the file changed. That's all right, you can ignore that. Just go ahead and hit reload. And let's launch this and see our result. I'll go up here and hit press B and there's hi there in the text field. Nice. <laughs> A simple but relatively useless app uh, but it makes a good demo for how easy it is to throw a couple of components onto a form and then uh, create a click event and so here it's telling me the execution stopped as I closed it so I'm gonna hit this don't show message again otherwise that'll pop up every time we test something and close it so there you have it that should cover it now you know how to install Lazarus IDE using FPC Up Deluxe and adding in some advanced features like cross-compiling and different modules. So there you have it. And remember, if you like this video, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe. Thank you.